as we introduce blood typing, there's a couple of vocabulary words that we need to know before we get started. The first one is agglutination. Agglutination is when two different blood types are mixed together and clumping occurs. So in your body, when you have your own blood type, like say for example you're a type A person, your normal red blood cells look like this. They're nice, flowy, no problems. If somebody were to give you a blood transfusion that was the wrong blood type than what you have, okay, something that didn't agree with your body, the cells would do what we call agglutination, or they would agglutinate to one another, which means they would, they would clump up together and they would look like this. This is not a good thing for your body. It causes clots, it causes infection, all sorts of bad things happen. The reason that your blood could agglutinate or clump up together is because of these two things, your antigens and your antibodies. So let's first talk about your antigens. Antigens are very large molecules or proteins that are found on your red blood cells. So on the outsides of your red blood cells, and their job is to produce antibodies against any other blood type except the one that you have. So your antigens that you have are on the outsides of your red blood cells and they determine the blood type of that person. So for example, if you have A antigens, you have type A blood. If you were to have B antigens, you have type B blood. So they're found right here on the outsides of your red blood cells. You also have what's called antibodies. Antibodies are proteins that are found in your plasma that recognize anything foreign. So any foreign antigens that are not your own, and when they find them, they agglutinate to them or they cause clumping. So they cause your foreign antigens, if they're present, to agglutinate or clump up to try to get rid of them and get them out of your body as fast as possible. So now we're going to take a look here at um, the antigens and antibodies that make up the ABO blood typing system. So Carl Landsteiner discovered antigens right, the proteins on your red blood cells in the early 1900s and that led to our current blood typing system, ABO. So if you have type A blood, okay, you have A antigens on the outsides of your red blood cells, like this. If you have type B blood, you have B antigens. If you have type AB blood, you have both A and B antigens. And if you have type O blood, you don't have any antigens. Okay, and we're going to go way more in depth with how and why this works in the next couple of videos.